Hey guys, we're going to be discussing uh, formation of differential equations in this uh, session here. Uh, just to get, before we get started, there's some ideas that we need to cover. And uh, once we cover those ideas, let's hopefully get the, um, the hang of how to create differential equations. Alright, so here we go. So this is one of the first things you got to understand about differential equations is that, I mean, in reality, nothing in, in the world is still. Everything is changing. Now, you might decide to have philosophical, other philosophical ideas behind this, but for this situation, we're going to go along with this. And the other thing is that uh, so far you've always um, dealt with um, linear functions or almost static points, if you can think of. Like if I say 2x minus 3 equals 4, you can calculate what x is. All right? But what if instead of being things being static, things are always moving, then the way so what we do is we use differential equations and this can express change and that means at least one term in a differential equation is a derivative so you can kind of think of it like this a solution to a differential equation is not really a number but a function all right so that's the general ideas behind it so you can kind of say differential equations arise from situations where a rate of change is proportional to some variable now, don't get too worked up on this. I'm just going to show you guys how it, what it means. There's kind of two quantities, uh, two ways in which we can look at look at this. The first one is known as directly proportional. So this is the idea when if quantity one, if it increases, then quantity two also increases. And likewise, if quantity one decreases then you can say quantity two also decreases so this is what we call directly proportional now the other one is called inversely proportional all right and with inverse and inversely proportional is that if you have quantity one and if quantity one increases then if it's inversely proportional then quantity 2 decreases. And likewise, if quantity 1 decreases, then quantity 2 will increase. So this is the gen generic idea of direct directly proportional and inversely proportional. All right, looking at these types of questions, um, just generalizing this with differential equations, I'll be looking at it at the next slide. So we're going to look at three key ideas here. Got one, on one side we've got rate of change and on the other side we've got differential equation okay so if rate of change is proportional to x then we can say dy dx is equal to kx where k is some sort of constant which we'll figure it out alright the next one is if rate of change is inversely proportional to x, then we can say that the differential equation would be dy dx equals 1 over k times 1 over x, or in other words, this is k over x. Uh, and finally, the third one is when rate of change is of an amount is proportional to itself so to the amount itself this is a good example of um, I guess you can think of like bacteria expanding itself or rabbits population of rabbits so in this case you're gonna get dy dx is equal to ky so notice between the first one and the second um, sorry when it's proportional to x it's kx but it's when the amount is proportional to the amount itself it's actually written as ky. So these are the three key ideas for differential equations. All right. From this point, what we'll do is we'll look at a couple of examples, and and then we'll be done with the session anyway. All right. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. So the first one here is water is leaking out of a bottle at 400 mils per minute. Express this as a differential equation. All right, so what we do know is that the rate of change is volume in milliliters per minute. 
so this is the rate of change of well how fast because if the water is leaking out of the bottle then the volume is decreasing per minute so the rate is negative because um, the volume is actually decreasing so therefore we're going to say the rate well the rate is negative if it's increasing it'll be positive if it's decreasing uh, it will be negative which means the way we can write it is dv over dt would equal negative 400 negative 400 now if you think about this in realist like realistic terms this this is change of volume over time and change of volume is well it's it's actually telling you the question is telling you that it's decreasing at 400 mils so dv over dt well that's decreasing by 400 so that's that's all that's how you write this differential equation all right let's have a look at another example in this question we have a population of rabbits is increasing in such a way that the rate of increase is proportional to the number of rabbits r present at any time t express this using a differential equation now if you remember those three key ideas that we were talking about earlier this was the last one where the populate where the population of rabbits um, is proportional to the number of rabbits present so in this case we would write this as dr over dt equals well we don't know what k is so we just leave it as k at the moment some constant multiplied by r itself all right guys that's all for this session and um, those three key ideas that uh, that I've talked about earlier in one of the slides should give you a generic idea of how to write or how to form differential equations all right well this is just the start of it um, I mean we'll move on to checking solutions and classifying solutions in first order differential equations and so on all right anyway that's all for this session so thanks for watching guys